thanks for giving us the this space to 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 tell everybody what what we are working here in Porto. Um, so uh, my name is uh, Antonio Correa. Um, I'm a researcher at Lava RP, um, the Psychosocial Rehabilitation Laboratory, one of uh, other research centers at Politécnico do Porto, here in Portugal. Um, I'm currently the lab manager of Pirtual Lab. I will explain what Pirtual Lab is in, in a moment. And I, the, my, my main fo uh, focus here is developing uh, BR environments that we can use uh, to our research here in the, the, the lab. I will talk a, a little bit about what the, um, what the lab, uh, lab, lab does, uh, and then how we use BR and show um, some of our projects. And if we have time for questions in the end, I will be open to it. So, Psychosocial Rehabilitation uh, Laboratory. Um, it's um, a laboratory that uh, in reality exists from, I think, 2006, if I'm not mistaken. And we work with um, BR technologies uh, from that time, uh, although uh, the, the first ones were a little <laughs> cumbersome and not, not that that useful, useful, but in the, the last four years, we began working a lot with uh, virtual reality and applying it to a, um, a vast, uh, vast uh, number of studies that we conduct here. The, the laboratory is mainly focused in mental health issues. Um, it's composed by four groups, the, the recovery and social innovation, that's focused uh, in spreading the, um, the information of uh, mental health. Uh, that's a lack that that uh, we have here in Portugal and in, in the rest of the world. There's, there's not a lot of perception, so uh, it's di difficult to to apply social innovation to, to mental health if the the population, the general population, don't doesn't have um, that that information. Um, we have a stress and emotion group that is focused on burnout, on people that work in uh, crisis uh, and develop uh, post-traumatic uh, stress, uh, that kind of, um, of, uh, of patients. Then we have a, um, a group that uh, focuses on aging and mental health and works with um, elderly, elderly people with dementia, uh, Alzheimer's and other other type of, um, of uh, people with with those uh, those conditions, and the neurocognition group that focuses mainly on the the working the the the, the, <laughs> the neurophysical uh, aspects of the mental health. All these groups they have projects and studies that uh, that are normal, and they have the the virtual and technology ones. Um, and because of that, inside the Lab RP, we have the Virtual Lab. That's a resource center that provides uh, technical support, um, e equipment, uh, mainly VR equipment and multimedia e equipment, uh, and also develops some of our um, of our environments. Um, we have. A lot of we are one of the best equipped, uh, equipped labs here in Portugal, and we have a multimedia cave. It's a, a large space uh, that we can use to to generate uh, uh, virtual environments um, outside of the the VR headset. But we also use VR headsets from Byte Pro, Oculus Rift, Quest, Quest Two. We have a lot of them. Um, we use a lot of VR uh, add-ons. Like Manus VR, the optic ones. Um, Luxi, Luxi, Luxilink is a EEG uh, add on for, um, for the um, uh, HTC Vibe Pro. Uh, I will talk a, a little bit about Manus and, and Luxil uh, on further. Uh, we also use Leap Motion to detect and tracking. Uh, and we have a Roto VR chair, it's, it's only to provide the um, haptic feedback on the vibrations if someone is seated in the um, the, the chair. We also use uh, augmented reality systems like HoloLens, um, and we have motion capture rooms for for uh, mainly for body full body tracking and to uh, also to 
provide measures from from the the body movement of someone. We have uh, studies that are conducted using virtual reality and uh, try to to gather information on like the uh, the movement of walking of someone with uh, a mental health um, disability and try to to correlate the, the that that data. Um, we also have a lot of 360 um, professional equipment because we develop RBR. Sometimes it's uh, 360 video BR and sometimes it's computer graphics. Uh, so we have a lot of, of those also. So Virtual Lab is, is a um, like a tool for all the, the research groups here in the, in this in this uh, in this laboratory. Let me just try to put this on. This is a, a short video of our multimedia cave system. Uh, it has um, a projection in all all walls, but but we in this video we only project in one. It's only for you to to gather to to understand what we we have here. That that experience that is is doing is a, a game, a commercial available game that we use in um, a protocol to to study uh, height phobia therapies. Um, I will talk about it uh, further also. So, <clears throat> at lab we use VR for for mental health, especially or mainly focused in trying to determine the the possibility of use of BR technologies in therapies, cognitive uh, behavioral therapies. Um, this is the main main use here. Uh, we also use BR as a tool for evaluation to determine uh, tests like memory, uh, visual perception, uh, even motor skills. Um, we use it as, as a um, alternative to the normal uh, normal uh, tasks that are given to in the normal laboratories. We try to recreate some environment like for, for someone to run uh, or to, to engage in a different task, but in BR. And we also use the, the BR for um, empathy creation. It, it, this is, um, is a, a thing that we, we try to put someone in the shoes of um, a, a person with a, a special condition, like uh, we try to recreate uh, what would be an uh, an episode of uh, uh, schizophrenia in someone in a student, uh, so the other students can try to understand what the what the, the person with schizophrenia would would um, uh, experience. Um, this, this, uh, is, we are conducting a lot of studies with this. Um, it's still uh, a work uh, under work, so there's no, no, um, no conclusion yet. But the um, the results we are gathering here is uh, is really positive um, for now. <clears throat> for this type of of um, of studies, we try to not only use VR, but try to um, augment something. So it's not a visual and auditory perceptions. We try to to gather or to use other other um, other technologies that can give us um, something else like hand tracking. Uh, we are or haptics. Um, we try to to understand where the people are looking using eye tracking. We also gather information from EEG and CEG to to create or to use in biofeedback. So uh, I, I will uh, give um, an example further, but it's to, trying to use biofeedback to to help them uh, create an auto regulatory process in face of stress. Um, and we use also body tracking to give more immersion, uh, full body tracking to give more immersion in some cases. Um, <clears throat> so we here, we have a, a small team. So we are small, although we have we are well equipped. Um, we don't have a lot of people working here. So for our development, 
we generally try to conduct research trying to identify um, some some experience that can provide us the, um, the environment that the study is trying to to recreate uh, sometimes we can use uh, commercially available games like beat saber or richie plank experience we use that one in a height phobia uh, therapy study um, if you don't know richie plank experience is one of the I think everybody that, that experienced VR sometime crossed with this game. It's the one that you enter an um, elevator and you go up and then the, the doors of the elevator open and you have to walk uh, a little plank. We use games like this, but not in that that height, uh, to, to generate a protocol. Um, for height phobia therapies. It's uh, it's not only the VR, there's a lot of um, psychological uh, evaluations and, and uh, support, uh, but the VR is one of the, the tools they, they use in that protocol. We also use games like Tilt Brush for um, artistic expression in some, um, in some mental health patients to understand if, if that kind of um, tool can um, enable them to, to express better. Um, and and it, mainly it's positive. And we use these games because uh, it's, it's easier to acquire them and, and uh, it, uh, it's not that costly in time also. Uh, but sometimes the, the star studies require a specific task. Uh, and we have to develop them that year. Um, when we have to, to develop it, we try to use uh, BR 360, uh, 360 video for BR because it's easier for us to, to record. Um, although sometimes we have to, to use uh, actors and other, other professionals uh, to help us, but other, other, in other moments, it's it's really inexpensive because we already have the, the equipment. Uh, for instance, we have um, a project here related to the, the elderly pe people that we go to special places in the life of that, uh, that person, uh, like the church where he married or the, the school where he went when he was a, a child, and we record there the, um, the place. And then we 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 project we, we show that VR to the the person in um, in the VR headset. Um, that that is mainly done with uh, people that suffer from dementia, and in some cases the, the um, that that video triggers uh, a lot of uh, memories and uh, positive emotions that can be really uh, helpful. Um, we have people here that already they didn't speak a word. They they almost don't don't talk. But when they are exposed to that uh, that VR uh, 360 videos, they they begin talking and they say like, "There's there's where I was married, and that street there goes to uh, my parents' house." And they remember a lot of things and begin talking um, in a in a way they, they, they didn't in the, the last two or three weeks, some even more. Um, but sometimes we also work uh, creating our own uh, computer generated VR using the Unity 3D engine, uh, buying 3, 3D assets uh, every time you can, um, so to shorten the, the development costs. Um, and it, because the, the team uh, being so um, so small, we 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 cannot do it in another other way. Uh, although we have uh, skills for doing that, but but three D artists, but the, the, the time would not allow us because we we are not pro uh, for profit. So um, th this VR is only for uh, for studies here conducted in the in the school. Now I will show you some of our um, of our projects. The first one is Empathia VR. Um, it, we have a, a series of this Empathia VR. Uh, they are to create the the point of, of um, point of view of someone with a specific um, uh, condition. Uh, 
uh, we have schizophrenia, we have one of uh, autistic uh, autistic child, um, we have uh, uh, some of them. Um, this one, I will put the video here. Put it. Put it. Um, this one was developed to use the, the hand tracking of on Quest, uh, but also uses the Manus uh, VR to provide uh, provide feedback uh, every time it touches like the spiders or something. It gives uh, haptic feedback to that. Uh, in this in this um, in this experience, we were trying to put someone doing the Stroop test, the psychological evaluation uh, test. Um, in is trying to do the Stroop test, but at the same time, there's a lot of um, st stimuli uh, in the um, auditory uh, stimuli. Um, Visual uh, those those um, paintings there they they move sometimes. There's some hallucinations with um, with spiders. This is not trying to recreate every uh, schizophrenia uh, experience, but it's trying to give um, uh, a little exaggerated one. So uh, there's a, a real real emotional response in someone because we tried to. To do a, a softer one, and th there was not that impact. Um, and, so, and we are trying to to measure the the, the, the emotional and trying to figure out uh, what we can use or not in this in this case of um, of VR, because we don't want to 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 exaggerate too much, but we we want uh, an emotional response for someone that doesn't have. Uh, experience with uh, schizophrenia. This one was developed by us in Unity and uses, uh, as I said, the quest and tracking, but also there's a, a version with uh, Manus Aptic um, Aptic uh, gloves. Uh, other one that we made uh, that uses uh, also uh, Aptic was um, the study on attention retention, attention retention <laughs> In that person um, is a, a study that that's that's published now, and uh, it was mainly to to understand the, the the perception that's that someone that that is deaf um, if that if the, if that has uh, influence influence in the, the attention that he has. So let me check. there's a, a a game with some objects. Um, Red and green, green ones, and he has a, a little time to to understand if the the object, the chosen object in each round, is inside or outside of the of the circle. And it's it's it, we don't have a video of this one. It was better if I had a video to explain, but um, we also. Use this this scenario from um, the Unity Asset Store to create a, a kitchen, so they can use this these objects. The objects are low poly because the the researcher asked for it. Um, I'm not sure why now, but uh, but it was a, a choice to have them uh, a little low poly and cartoonish, uh, contrasting with the rest of the. Uh, the room. Uh, in this tool, we use the the Manus VR Aptic Prime, uh, Prime Aptic. Sorry, um, we we use it less than we expected because they were really expensive, but they are not the the best to use. Mm. It's just. Mm. Sorry, I was losing my voice. Um, these ones, they they are a lot. They are cumbersome. They they are not user friendly <laughs> at all. We have to to charge the the batteries every time. It's it's complicated to to use. I know that they have 
the new versions, but uh, but we we still have this ones, and we try to use it, but there's not um, the the haptic feedback they give is not that great. Also, um, we are uh, researching to to buy some new ones, uh, but th these they were okay when we buy them, bought them, but uh, now we don't use them a lot. Other other type of um, of um, <clears throat> projects we have the virtual therapy was experiments on um, uh, neurofeedback. Um, it uses uh, an EEG uh, device called Muse. Uh, it's a headband and uh, it connects to the um, to the Unity engine and provides the variables that we can use to um, to alter the um, the the environment. Um, this one was the first attempt that we made, and we soon realized the 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 Muse headband was not a great idea because the it, it uh, dislocates a lot, so the the sensors are not um, always in the same place. Uh, I will show you the video, and now we are trying to do this again, but with um, different um, different. Uh, materials, equipment. So to explain better this um, this project, the, the 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 focus here is to 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 create a a way so a person can uh, try to to get rid of the speaking in public fear. Uh, so the the neurofeedback here controls those those people there the, in the um, in the auditory. Um, if the person can maintain a, a level of uh, attention and stress low, the, the people in the, the avatars, the 3D avatars, would, would try to, uh, to stay still and focus on your presentation. But if you lose focus, they would, uh, try, uh, they would show animations like uh, being in the, the cell phone or uh, trying to speak to the, the person uh, on, the, on the sides. Um, so it gives a, a visual feedback to someone and tries to recreate that um, that process so they can create an auto regulatory process in the VR and maybe uh, uh, apply it in the, the real world uh, next. Uh, we are doing a, a, a second version of this one. Um, it's still in development. We only have this this picture. It gives um, other visual uh, feedback uh, in the the PC that's in the virtual environment, um, giving the attention, relaxation, the the art art rate uh, uh, variable. Uh, so the person can as the, uh, can have that visual uh, and graphical information besides the the, the population in the, the auditory. Uh, but
but it's still in development. Don't have uh, this two. This new one. The, this new uh, project uses uh, Luxid uh, uh, Luxid Link. It's a EEG uh, add-on to to the vibe. Um, we are trying also to to implement um, some some type of um, of feedback outside of the the VR, but still not sure um, what. Um, but maybe maybe in the in the future we we will have something. But um, the the this this device is a lot better than the, the others that we used because it stays still. It doesn't have it it does have. Um, a few channels, so it's not that uh, that's great for EEG uh, data gathering, but for uh, this type of feedback, um, it's okay. Show that video to to shorten the the presentation. So uh, currently, we are developing um, a project in partnership with uh, a few universities, European universities and uh, Indonesian uh, universities in a um, Erasmus uh, project called BUILD. Um, and the, the BUILD is a project to for a crisis response. And we are developing currently uh, VR for uh, earthquake response uh, that tries to simulate um, what would be the response of, or, or try to, to train the response of someone to a, um, a huge uh, earthquake, what they, they would do, um, what to, um, to uh, don't do. Um, let me just show you here the, the space. We have um, a first level that the, the apartment is, um, it's okay. It's uh, everything okay in, in, in the day, and the person will receive um, uh, information from uh, for, for what she uh, she would do uh, in the in the case of um, uh, an earthquake. And after uh, there's a second level, well, where the the earthquake already happened. And in the first level, she has to to. Um, Take some decisions, like to um, how can I say it to to hold the put something to hold the the book uh, yeah. <laughs> lost in, in words the book shelf. Um, if you don't uh, use those those appliances to to hold it in case of uh, earthquake, they fall and they can uh, fall in. in uh, on top of you, so there's a lot of uh, things they they have to to choose to do in the first um, level that um, can uh, create consequence in the, the the second one after the earthquake. Uh, after they 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 get outside of their apart apartment, they have to navigate in the. Um, the the debris or the crumbles of the um, the. The building, so can they can escape? Um, these are some pictures. This is still in development, so show you here a little video of for work in progress. There's an earthquake now. The video has no sound, but this is like a, a replica. The 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 earthquake already happened, and then there's the the replica, and he has to to get out of the the apartment. In this case, he, he did everything okay in the the first level, so the the bookshelf didn't collapse. Um, but he has to to get away from the the his apartment and get downstairs to to be in safety. There will be a lot of other engagements in this this. Um, 
on this uh, track. Uh, the, what we are showing now is only the, the environment, but there are um, debris that fall uh, and other other stuff that he has to to take care. In, in this one, we are trying to use the, the minus haptic ones, the, the, the gloves, to give some feedback in, in the way of touch uh, and to feel the vibrations of the, the earthquake. We are doing it currently with the, the, the vibration of the, uh, the controllers, but we are trying to use the, the gloves also. And this is one of the, the phrases we have here at, um, at the virtual lab. And I'm open to questions if, if there's any. Uh, thank you for, for your time and the opportunity to, to show what uh, LabRP uh, does here in, uh, in Porto. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Antonio. Thanks. Yeah, we can take one question when the people are not too hungry already. Yeah, yeah I understand. <laughs> okay, there is one. Julien? We are working with the guys Lionel Allegre. Do you know this one? Lionel Allegre is a guy that uh, um, Immersion is working with. Do you know that person? The, I, I'm not sure. I know all you know, but I, I'm not sure if his last name is Allegri. I would say uh, it, I, I cannot hear. Sorry. Uh, Julia will send you an email with the name. So okay, 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 sure. A, a, anyone that has any question can can email me. The, no problem, or 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 ask for inside of LinkedIn. Also, no problem. Okay. Perfect.